four like major pieces um, or three different parts of this whole build that I'm doing. I have my main frame. This is the rail that slides up and down. It's the bottom rail that we're gonna be pressing onto. This is the rail with the uh, the actual press. What I've done is I've taken four inch channel and then a couple two inch channels um, and welded them together like this. That way, it slides up and down on this. Between these two here, that's where my bottle jack's gonna set. Home Depot, 35 bucks. It's a 20 ton bottle jack. That'll push down on this piece. Have the bottle jack on. What I got going on here is I've welded two hooks to the top, about four inches in. Then I've just drilled a hole, put a bolt on the side of this one. Okay, put those in. And then I have a piece of square pipe right here to hold the top in. And I have two plates welded on there and there to hold the bottom of the jack together. So that's not moving anywhere. Cool thing about the springs is when you take and go up and you loosen this, it picks up the whole setup. Then just drill the holes for the bottom piece and then make the pins. And we're good to go. I got a few pins done. My holes drilled. Um, I did one every six inches. I didn't really do the math on that. I just kind of guessed. I already pressed out a couple uh, bushings. They turned out really good. Here's my finished product. Put a little bit of paint on there. I don't think this press is really a 20 ton press. My metal is just not hefty enough, I think, to take it. I'd change this, I think, to two inch channel. It'd be a little sturdier. It's probably more of a 12 ton instead of a 20 ton, but it's close enough and it, it just turned out really good.